At the ITS America 2021 annual meeting, the intelligent transport community gathers in Charlotte, North Carolina to network, connect, and exchange the latest ideas on emerging technologies, products, and transport solutions. The annual meeting program explores a wide range of topics such as connected and automated technologies, equity and accessibility, big data, security, logistics, and of course, the latest impact of the COVID pandemic on transportation. Attendees have access to thought-provoking sessions, live demonstrations, technical tours, and networking with colleagues and peers. And ITS TV is right here, bringing you all the latest from this year's meeting. Welcome back to the Charlotte Convention Center in episode three of ITS TV 2021. Today's show is all about the future as we speak to interviewees and attendees about events next year. We speak to Jamie McCauley about ITS America's plans for next year and the upcoming ITS World Congress. We find out more about some of the focus areas, regional events and work development opportunities ITS is planning for next year. We also take a tour around the world to look at some of the new developments in intelligent transportation, specifically in Korea and the US. And we speak to attendees to hear their thoughts on the big ITS World Congress in Los Angeles. Let's jump straight in with Jamie McCauley to talk about ITS events in 2022. So it's going really well, isn't it? It's going great. We have very happy customers. The industry is really excited to be here in person, finally doing another in-person event. They're really engaged. The content that we have on the show floor is really relevant and exciting for the industry. So we've gotten a lot of great feedback. Now, so we're looking forward to 2022. Now, obviously, we're hoping that that's going to be post post pandemic. So 2022, and there's a big event coming up in uh, Los Angeles, isn't there? So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so we are delivering the ITS World Congress 2022 event. Um, it's in Los Angeles, as you mentioned. Um, the dates are September 18th through the 22nd. Um, we'll, we'll be bringing back the ITS World Congress to the United States, and we're very, very excited about that. Um, we're expecting about 8,000 attendees with more of a global audience. Um, we're expecting about 35% to 40% international, um, and the remainder will be domestic. We've already got a lot of companies signed up to participate next year with us. Um, some very well-known companies in the industry, such as Qualcomm, Intel, Panasonic, Honda, Toyota. So we're really excited about next year. It seems to me that so this is an industry that is, wants to learn and it wants to network and it wants to, to do business. So it, it feels to me like the event that you've got coming up next year is going to be a, a very productive one. Absolutely. So this is an industry, this is an, a group of attendees and exhibitors. They want to learn. And we have roughly 185 sessions planned for next year. We're looking to have a really strong, robust education program in, at the ITS World Congress with a, lot of, with a lot of relevant topics such as sustainability, mobility on demand, um, um, V2X. So a lot of topics that we feel are really, really relevant for this industry. Looking forward to it. Thanks ever so much indeed for taking the time to talk to us today. Really Absolutely. appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you for having me. Thank you. Captain is a government-funded project led by the Korea Transport Institute to create innovation within the existing public transport system. Based in Sejong City, KOTI is developing and testing connected and automated driving systems to overcome the limitations of the current public transport system in terms of safety and operational efficiency. Let's go take a look. CAPTAIN, or Connected and Automated Public Transport Innovation, is a Korean government-funded project led by Korea Transport Institute. Through CAPTAIN project, we have developed a connected and automated driving system to overcome the limitation of the current public transport system. CAPTAIN goes beyond typical automated buses by connecting them to traffic signals, detection devices, the traffic control center, as well as service users. 첫 번째 과제는 자율적인 기반의 대형 버스와 중소형 버스를 개발하는 것이고요. 어, 두 번째 프로젝트는 이러한 버스가 안정적으로 주행할 수 있는 
인프라, 즉 자율주행 시스템을 개발하는 데 있습니다. 마지막 세 번째 어, 세부 과제는 버스와 그 다음에 인프라를 연계해서 어, 세종시라는 실증 대상지에 이용자들 또한 이러한 자율주행 시스템의 안전성을 어, 믿고 이용할 수 있도록 적극적인 또 어, 홍보나 교육이 필요할 때라고 생각합니다. Cisco IoT helps organizations successfully connect the assets they care about the most. Everything from roadways and buses to manufacturing robots and utility substations. The portfolio combines Cisco's market-leading security and networking technologies with industrial protocol interoperability and technology to ensure high performance everywhere. I'm Michelle Major. I lead Cisco's Inclusive Infrastructure Initiative. It's part of our country digitization program. We make investments all over the world to improve things related to connectivity, things like education, healthcare, and of course, in important industries like transportation. Building back better is really a big job and it's a very uh, important job. And as we invest in our nation's critical assets, we must remember technology as the centerpiece of these investments, not the afterthought. Technology truly provides the bridge from a fix-it-first agenda to a more digitized and automated future. Some of the things that we invest in and think a lot about are vehicle-to-infrastructure, vehicle-to-pedestrian, uh, technology-related safety solutions, and system security. The network really is the catalyst, the enabler to all of those applications. Every year, ITS America hosts a whole range of events, talks, and information sessions for its members. We're speaking to Roger Miller, Manali Shah, Beth Keigel, and Matt Voltz to find out more about the different plans for learning and development next year. It's been great to be able to convene here in person and come together and connect with people across the industry. And we're really excited about what's coming next year with the new infrastructure bill. There's so much opportunity for us to really drive the, the mission that we have of a smarter, greener, cleaner, and more equitable, equitable transportation system. At the federal level, of working with the administration, with the USDOT and others to implement the new bill is important. There are elements in the bill that are directly related to intelligent transportation, and we want to make sure that it, it's implemented properly and uh, that the other uh, resources are allocated in ways that advance uh, the technology you know, in service to the community. The big thing for our chapters this next year is gonna be training and education, especially related to the IIJA. We're gonna try and get more information out from ITS America, out to all of our state chapters related to grants and funding and projects, as well as what the newest technology uh, are going to be related to electric vehicles, autonomous vehicles, uh, connected vehicles. And what we're going to be doing with our state chapters is we're going to actually encourage them as much as possible to submit abstracts, to make plans for attendance, to budget for attendance at World Congress. We really want a big showing. So we'll have a, uh, a state chapters uh, meeting at the World Congress, but we're also going to try and plan a time when we can actually get together with our uh, friends from Ertico and from Asia Pacific actually talk about how they govern some of their meetings and do some of their chapter work as well. One of the great things about the World Congress is the ability to bring together so many different parts of our ecosystem. So we have leaders of public sector agencies across different levels of government. We have the private sector, we have academia, lots of different entities who play different roles. And it's that level of collaboration that is really important for us to be able to address a lot of these challenges. So that's what I'm most excited about. From an ITS World Congress standpoint, a key focus is the Emerging Leaders Program. One element is at the university level, globally. We do a global challenge that involves teams from various universities around the world that have put forward a challenge question to address that will actually excite them and kind of get their juices flowing and thinking innovatively and creatively about providing solutions to a diverse uh, sector of users of transportation networks. The second one is actually digging into that high school level. So we engage our high schoolers in a challenge too, and that's something that will be done nationally throughout the United States. 
the third leg of the stool really is how do we have an impact on the local community when we're there in Los Angeles. So how do we get young people from the metropolitan area uh, around Los Angeles engaged and excited about what's to come in transportation and provide them with that opportunity. So as the program is developed, as it's implemented, those are all things that we think about in energizing our young people, letting them know that there are great opportunities in this field. We're here at ITS TV, your daily news show featuring interviews and discussions on hot topics in intelligent transportation from this year's ITS America annual meeting. You can catch us around the Charlotte Convention Center, in your hotel room, and of course online. And you can join the conversation on social media, so with new content every day, you're not going to want to miss a beat. Well, this year's meeting in Charlotte may soon be over, but we're looking forward to the 2022 World Congress in Los Angeles. Let's find out what you're looking forward to the most. It's my first ITS meeting. Um, so a lot of the topics here are new to me. Uh, and uh, so it's, it's been really interesting planning out the sessions. I've thought the plenary sessions uh, have been really informative and, and, and nice panel sessions as well. I was speaking on a panel, so that was enjoyable. And it was nice to, to have a full room for the for the panel discussion um, and it's just good to see people and to see the exhibits. I work for the city of Charlotte so this was I had to come in person of course. What I've enjoyed the most here so far has been uh, the keynote speakers and then some of the demonstrations that I've seen um, just around the booths and around the exhibit hall. This is my first ITS conference. Um, I've been pleasantly surprised all of the information and the work that people are doing. Plenary sessions especially have been really great. I've heard feedback from other conference attendees that the world ones are really great. We're super excited about going to ITS World Congress. Uh, it'll be great to be back in LA. It'll be great to see again be with more people and meet people face to face and not only learn from those colleagues that are here in America but those from around the world. It'll be interesting to network with many of the international customers as opposed to just North American. So we're definitely planning on attending that show as well next year. We're really moving towards global technologies, global partnerships, and really trying to solve things at a global scale, not just national scale. So World Congress is also very, very critical for the development of much of the same sets of features and capabilities. We attended the World Congress this year in Germany, and I'm actually really sorry to say that we were one of the only American startups there. And from what I saw in Germany, some of the most interesting innovations that are happening in the ITS space are happening in cities abroad and being able to meet those innovators, talk to those cities, and maybe even bring some of those innovations home is something that we're really looking forward to. That's it, I'm afraid, for ITS TV 2021 here in Charlotte. It's been great being here, and I hope you've enjoyed the programs. You can watch the programs here in the Charlotte Convention Center, in your hotel rooms, and of course, online on YouTube. And you can join in the conversations on social media. So until next year, 2022, in the city of dreams, it's goodbye.